Hello, my name is Omar Abbasad. It's Saturday, April 6, 2019 at uh, 2.42 p.m. in Toronto. And uh, the picture has disappeared from uh, my view. And there it comes back. All right, so um, I'm going to give you today uh, today's example of uh, my being tagged. The air. The throat and a, um, the power is up and down the back and there's a spot on my thighs my right thighs that is um, pulsed repeatedly that single one spot so this is where I get bruises where um, um, it could be broken blood vessels um, underneath the surface of the skin. It could be deeper than that. It could be uh, veins, uh, broken veins, um, you know, the larger vessels. It's depending on how much power I'm hit with. And uh, I went to the doctor and I showed him this huge bruise, which was about um, two inches, more than two inches long right in the back of uh, my knee, just a little bit lower than the knee, uh, uh, excuse me, and the calf, I should say, the, the back of the calf. Um, and uh, and the, the doctor said, but this huge bruise, black, blue, angry looking bruise. And he said to me, stop kicking myself. So from the, um, the comments that I hear outside the window and in the public, um, everybody knows this before it happens because the community gets together and put this program together based on the feedback they get. So um, when the team decides that we're gonna give it a good kick, uh, meaning that we are gonna pulse the foot constantly with these remote technologies that are being used, they're supposed to be non-lethal weapons. Of course, uh, they can kill when the power is turned up that I've demonstrated, strokes, aneurysms, or heart attacks. And they could actually um, I was doing some research and um, there was cases of spontaneous combustion. And if you turn up the power high enough, you could be vaporized. You know, <laughs> the term beam me up Scotty comes to mind. Well, you'll be beamed up all right. Um, okay, so when the, when the power is turned up high enough, and this is what is gonna happen uh, when criminals get a hold of the uh, technology that allows them to log into people using 5G, 5G is here, 10G is coming down the line. So this is what's going to happen. People are going to be vaporized by criminals who get their hands on the technology to do it. So um, anyway, so I am going to give you um, a sampling of the uh, blood pressure readings. So I'm in pain today because the power is turned up. Pain, normal, pain, 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 that's the fifth. So yesterday was an extremely painful day, extremely painful. In fact, uh, I just had to shield myself most of the time. And when it goes this high, notice the last, um, notice the, um, the, uh, th this number right here. That's uh, the pressure uh, in your veins um, in resting position between the pulses. So when that is high, you can imagine just how much um, power you're being hit with. Notice uh, how much lower it is there. That's normal. That's normal. That's completely normal. So in the morning, That's still the fifth. In the morning, it wasn't so bad. In the afternoon and the evening, 
it, the power was turned up. I heard that the contract was changing hands and that, and um, I'm suspecting that's the reason why the power was turned up because uh, somebody ordered it switched. So the idea is when you turn up the power and I verbalize, um, it would be switching, quote unquote, which means that I'm gonna verbalize that um, that's gonna make me sound angry and I'm switched, quote unquote. Really, just the opposite is true because when you verbalize, it's a way of dealing with uh, the emotions caused when, by the harassment. It's not switching at all. I heard the, the, um, the comment that she split. The idea is to split your personality. That is part of the torture program. Uh, <laughs> There's no way, there's no splitting here. Once you're aware of the program and aware of, aware, and aware of the way it works, you're not gonna split. So that was a palpitation on the fourth. And uh, that's number 30, so that's as much as it, uh, it stores. So last three days, basically. So on the fourth, um, I thought I was gonna get a heart attack, I monitored the um the pressure after and it went back uh it took a while but it went back to normal range uh, uh, you know in a in a short in a short period of time within an hour or so so that's because the power was turned down because i tweeted about it uh anyway so this is an ongoing um targeting program an experimentation program so I am not comparing myself to um, to people who are supposed to be um, violent and out of control because this is just the opposite. Um, I'm tweeting my experiences um and uh, uh and i'm dealing with it um publicly because the program is pu is a public one it doesn't make me mentally ill the uh the uh, symptoms of being harassed is uh, misconstrued to be symptoms of mental illness when really there's no mental illness so when i mention rohini besasa there is no way that i'm saying that I could do the things that she did because Rohini Besasa wasn't on the YouTube, wasn't on the Twitter um, website uh, talking about what was going on in her life like I am. And uh, this is, uh, this is um, an excellent, excellent way of dealing with the situation. So um, there is absolutely, absolutely not going to be any violence because as I said before, a powerful tweet is, uh, you know, a million times more powerful and effective than any sort of um, physical reaction. You know, exposure is very powerful. It's a very, very powerful thing. So if anyone out there is making claims that, oh my God, she could uh, do um, what um, Rohini Besasa did. This is not true because I'm doing just the opposite. I'm doing things to, I'm taking action to, to, to expose what's going on. And this is, as I said, it's an extremely effective way to deal with the emotions that comes about as, as a result of being targeted. For me, um, as I said, uh, it's, uh, it, 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 um, it, just, uh, it just is, um, is a really, really effective way to deal with the emotions that comes about as a result of being targeted. So if anybody is claiming uh, that they're uh, fearful of me because I'm being experimented on and I could be out of control, and oh my God, she's verbalizing inside of her home and she's um, swearing or she is doing whatever it is that they're reporting that I did or recording that I did. This is just a way of dealing 
with the harassment and the experimentation going on. And it's going to have the opposite effect uh, um, as far as, uh, as, far as uh, becoming physical in any way. It, it, it just completely, um, it, it, it just takes care of the emotions. So there is no need to have a physical reaction. So I should not be recorded inside my home, especially when everybody knows, because it's a community affair. Uh, everybody knows that I'm being experimented with. Everybody knows that I'm being contained with non-lethal weapons, supposedly, that could give heart attacks that I demonstrated. They're not non-lethal weapons. They're very dangerous weapons. They cause cancer. They, got, they cause uh, uh, all kinds of underlying diseases. Um, internal swelling of the organs, inflammation, um, destruction of the organs, instant. It could be instant depending on the power. So they're not non-lethal. Um, so non-lethal weapons are being used. I've demonstrated, they, I've demonstrated them being used and the effects they have on the body. Given that, then emotions that arise from being contained this way has to be dealt with and I deal with it by venting inside of my home. So there is no, um, no um, physical reaction outside or, or towards anyone actually. So anybody claiming to be fearful of me, it's just lying. They're just lying. And it's just part of the targeting, especially neighbors around this unit, people in the building. They are the one who, who's perpetrating the crimes against me. They are the harassers. I am afraid of them. But of course, they're claiming they're afraid of me because that's part of the program to make me into, some, into something that everybody is supposed to be uh, scared of, uh, I'm mentally ill, supposedly, according to the reports. Of course, not true. I'm this huge criminal. I'm being monitored in the community as a huge criminal. And really, of course, it's not true. Really, I'm just the opposite. I'm exposing the criminals. Just like um, rapists paint their victims as, um, as somebody who deserved to be raped, therefore he should get off. It's the same idea. The harassers in the program are artificially criminalizing their victims to somehow justify the harassment and the torture when the person is really innocent. So they paint them, they defame them, they run a defamation campaign. This is what's initially done in this program to justify the use of so-called non-lethal weapons and the harassment and the public shaming and the humiliation. So um, this, uh, um, this is just, uh, uh, as I said, today's uh, sampling and uh, a short discussion of what's going on and up my updating on the situation that um, that people in the building are reporting um, is uh, is uh, you know could possibly be getting worse really what they're doing is they're turning up the power and right now because I'm recording the power is turned off Talk to you another time.